okay uh jahir let's start with your uh, introduction please yes. uh myself mohammad zairullah i have studied my schooling from lal bahadur high school and my intermediate from nawaz shetanya junior college i have completed my degree from anwar ulum degree college coming to my work experience i have worked as a receptionist in hotel citadel for one year and front officer in hotel citadel for one year okay yes Okay, uh, so while working in a hotel, what was your jobs and uh, roles and responsibility? Uh, what was your duty? Uh, yeah, my responsibility in hotel uh, from morning. Uh, in morning, uh, we have to give for all staff in the briefing, and we have to check uh, all rooms and all restaurant is clean or not, and all the all the work staff is wearing uh, proper uniform, and I need to take care of cash. All the responsibilities including me only. I should take care of all the restaurant and staff members. Okay, while you're taking care of your restaurant, what was your basic? How you have you start your day while you're entering in, into the restaurant at uh, the time of your starting your duty? How okay. you start your duty? Uh, I will start my duty in the morning when I came to hotel. First, I will uh, see all restaurant is clean or not. And I will see the uh, kitchen is clean or not. I will uh, see all stock, uh, meat, uh, vegetables, or fresh, uh, all came or not. Then after that, I will give briefing to all staff uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. I will then I will tell them how to uh, take care of customer, how to talk with customer. Uh, then I will start my day. Don't you don't you check? Uh, like uh, the machines and equipment, see that they are working with the full potential yeah. or not. Otherwise, how would you going to run your operation? No, no, no. Uh, I, I told you, I take care of the kitchen, like equipment, uh, everything is working properly or not. If I will not check later, I, I will only get to uh, survive with that. So before that, I will check everything. I will take care of uh, cleanliness, hygiene, hygiene, and equipment. And staff cleanliness, staff is very. You need to deal with the multiple tables or multiple customer at the same time. How would you handle that situation? Uh, I will handle it very politely. Uh, uh, first, uh, if a uh, uh, restaurant is full, I will request customer to wait for ten or fifteen minutes to get them the uh, next table. So there would be some situation where you're handling multiple table, which means they already have given their orders and they're waiting for the orders right now, right? So which means they already have reserved their tables. How would you handle okay. those customers? I will handle the I will handle the customer very politely. Uh, I will manage how as soon as possible. I will serve them the food. In case we are getting some issues or we are getting later, I will. Don't you the think? That you Sorry. Don't you think you need to check your your staff first? Like yeah, yeah. staff of duty, and you need to assign yeah. particular waiter or waitresses to the particular table, oh, and they will be. They, you just only need to supervise them. You don't. You are not the one who would going to deliver them to serve the food. Yeah. yeah. I will tell my, uh, have, let's say you have assigned the two or three waitresses or waiter to a particular table. What after? Okay. What after? Uh, then I will go to the kitchen and tell. Uh, Tell everyone to do it as soon as possible to talk because customer is waiting, and I will make sure that uh, they, uh, which are given them time, they will complete in that time only. If I give them ten minutes, please complete this order in ten minutes. They should complete in ten minutes. Ten minutes. Don't you think yeah. the orders, order quantity, and types of items that they have ordered, they what there might be yeah. some item which will take more than ten minutes. So the yeah. first thing you don't have to break promises with the customers while handling the multiple tables, yeah. giving them a specific time without checking the order, without checking the items which they have ordered, it's a fake promise, and which will no, going no, to I, be created. I am telling because that I we are just going to be lie, and it will again technically it will going to be taken care by you only. So whatever you going to get give promises to your customer, technically it will going to get back to you again after ten minutes. Uh, so I if I say, table, which means your restaurant already busy, yeah, 
right and no. if you already are in you know, which you which is which means you're working with the full potentials right and in by that times you don't have to come up with a specific time you need to check first how many orders are pending there inside the kitchen so you need to be aware about it right check the bills what are the items and based on these items you need to give up come up with something which has to be more feasible and you think that you yes, you need to take care of all your staff force as well as the customers so don't come up with the, any any sort of fake promises or fake time timelines to your guests uh, i was telling that uh, i will give that time to staff members so that they can work properly they can do as soon as Thanks. possible the 10 minutes 10 it's specific no, time john no, 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 no. it was just okay. an example yeah. see mostly the example is going to be implemented in, in, in the, the real life also. Anyway, how much are you getting at the moment uh, what's 25 your current 25 and what's your expectations uh, my expectation is 40 to 50 k don't you think just a double you are getting at the moment 25k and suddenly you would like to expect 45 to 50k give me a physical number uh, 40k just be true to yourself let me know a number and i will give you right now i mean this is something that i don't want to if you come up with a fake number which i'm not going to able i will have to say no to you so give uh, me something I, which is visible to 40K. me Okay, Zerula, what I can do now, I'm just going to offer you initially 1,800. I'll see your work for three months. If you would be okay, I would not receive any sort of complaint. I will make it 2,000. Okay. So initially, 1,8 is equal to 40K. But yes, I'm going to give you a bracket of 200 real extra. That will going to be based on your three-month provision time. If you would do, a, you know, without any complaints, I'll make it 2,000, which is equal to 45K. Uh, 45,000, sorry. Okay. Thank you, sir. Twelve hours duty, whatever the facility and the benefits, which is already explained. Okay. Two years of initial contract and transportation, accommodation, medical will be taken care of by the company. On duty meal, which means whatever the sandwiches which is allowed to other staff, you would also going to be able to do have the same. Okay, Do you have any other questions? No, but still, sir. as before, before you uh, came here, I, I want you to uh, have a look on food safety and hygiene. Because and yeah. also you know, some of the, you know the the basic FNB guidelines, you just need to go through it. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving Thank me you. this opportunity, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.